Welcome to Inside Military Esports, presented by Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. I'm Jeremy Smith. And I'm Jamie Kenton, and today we're coming to you from sunny San Diego, California, here at TwitchCon 2019. Jeremy, tell everybody a little bit about what we have in store for them today. Well, today we're going to go hit the show floor, meet some streamers and some veterans. I think it's time to get down to it. Let's go. <laughs> On this episode, we met up with several veteran organizations at TwitchCon 2019. The Navy Federal Credit Union Spotlight features representatives from the Wounded Warrior Project. We'll talk with Army Entertainment Esports about their Street Fighter V tournament finals. And we catch up with Sergeant Chris Jones and meet some of the members of the U.S. Army Esports team. Here in Veteran Gamers booth, I gotta say, Jeremy, you have never looked better. What's going on with the outfit here today? <laughs> well, I'm just trying to get in the spirit of things. Let's meet the team here at Military and Veteran Gamers. Let's do it. Ron, tell me a little bit about how the program works. How do veterans get involved in your program? Okay, so we have a, a ton of military members all throughout our community. We got veterans, we got civilians, we got everyone that's here with us. And one of the things that we love to do is we uh, we stream pretty much. We stream on Twitch. We play video games. We love it, you know. And um, we get those veterans and, and military members that come into our community, and uh, we provide you know this safe environment for all of us to be there together, and we all play games together. We get uh, mental healing through it all. It's definitely a great thing for us to be able to come into a safe environment where we know we're not going to be judged. Nothing's going to be going on like that, and it's just and it's an amazing thing for us. And uh, we raise this this money and we send it for care packages overseas to our service members out there. Tell me a little bit about what the care packages include. These care packages include uh, basic necessities that for the, what they need in the field. So there, these we, we we primarily send care packages to soldiers that are in austere environments. And we want to take good care of them. That is awesome. What do you love about what you do? I love bringing everybody together into a community. We're open to everyone, military and civilians. Anybody who supports us, we're, we're happy to have you. There's a lot of people that have come to this booth. I did not know there were so many military that played video games for Twitch. And they have come a lot to our booth. We're, we've exploded with people. What's next for you guys? I think what's next is we're going to be looking at doing a lot more conventions, meeting out and branching out and networking like that, working with some of these sponsors that are out here that we've met, gotten it in with them, and helping our boys out finding uh, some really good gaming communities. Awesome. Jordan, I want to thank you guys for what you're doing here at TwitchCon and what oh, you're doing here. We love it. There were a lot of great companies showing their wares at TwitchCon. One of them was Wormhole. We stopped by their booth to hear all about their cool new technology. Yeah, so wormholes is a technology that allows you to uh, go anywhere in the world as though you're actually there. You can look around, you can walk up to people, you can walk throughout the building, you can uh, interact and chat with the people. They're all avatars. There's a lot of different uh, military bases spread out, right? A lot of different communities of people who love video games but are busy all day working, right? So you can map your own little clubhouse inside the LAN on the base. Uh, you can wormhole from one base to another. When you can't be at five places at once, but with wormhole on the same weekend, you can hit all the different you know, events and, 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 uh, and esports tournaments and things like that, and you kind of feel like you're actually there. 
We also ran into friend of the show Nerfed Rogue. He was picking up some swag from Borderlands 3 and checking out all the exhibitors' booths. As we continued to explore the show floor, we met a lot of great people and found even more military connections to the gaming community. TwitchCon showcased numerous charities and nonprofit organizations who were able to create awareness of their causes and have a little bit of fun with the crowd too. We'll be back with more TwitchCon 2019 coverage here on Inside Military Esports, presented by Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Navy Federal Credit Union, proudly serving the armed forces, veterans, and their families for over 85 years. Our members are the mission, insured by NCUA. TwitchCon 2019, the Wounded Warrior Project has a spot on the show floor where they are spreading the good word about all the amazing work that they do. Let's go ahead and check them out. We're here at the Wounded Warrior Project booth with Courtney. Courtney, thanks for having us. Thank you guys so much for having us. So we're going to talk a little bit about Wounded Warrior Project Play. Can you tell us about that? Absolutely. So Wounded Warrior Project Play was created to answer the call in the streaming community to support our nation's injured veterans. So uh, basically it's an opportunity for content creators, regardless of what they're streaming, to support our nation's injured veterans. And more specifically, Wounded Warrior Project Play Stream to Serve focuses on veteran mental health. So while Wounded Warrior Project has programs in career counseling, long-term care, and physical health, Stream to Serve is really, really focusing on mental health issues that veterans face. So for instance, if you register your stream and you and your community raise $150, you can help uh, a veteran get connected to extremely meaningful and vital care for their post-traumatic stress, their traumatic brain injuries, depression, and other combat-related stressors. So if people want to get involved with Wounded Warrior Project Play, where can they find out more? They can go to woundedwarriorproject.org, click on the Get Involved tab, and then click on Live Streaming. You can register today and uh, register to get a lot of cool prizes from our partners for supporting our nation's injured veterans. Hey guys, I'm here with Michael Carasquillo here at TwitchCon. He is a six-year Army veteran who's a part of the Wounded Warrior Project. Michael, tell us a little bit about your time in the military. Uh, yes, yeah, so I joined the Army. Um, it was uh, after 9-11 that kind of set the course to uh, what I was going to do after I graduated. So in 2005, I'd made about six months through my, my deployment there when uh, my team was ambushed and I was actually shot five times. So I was, I was medically uh, evacuated from the area and then spent the next two years actually in Walter Reed Army Medical Center in Washington, D.C., where I was recovering from my injuries. I had uh, about 44 surgeries. I actually died twice and had to be brought back. So um, yeah, they, amazing medical care and through that, uh, the military supported me. Um, finally, when I was discharged in 2007, you know, I, I went through a period where I was kind of isolating, depressed, uh, didn't really have the mental health support that, you know, most guys can get now. And so uh, I fell into gaming and gaming became just kind of the fallback um, and kind of fed into the, almost the negative stereotype of isolating myself and keeping myself out of the public eye. But uh, through Wounded Warrior Project and their programs, they actually kind of brought me out, met with other guys, other warriors, um, and we were able to use gaming to kind of link up outside of, of what we were doing and uh, use it, turn it into a positive. Some way we could connect, talk about what we we're going through while also gaming and um, really turned it into a positive in my life and, and have utilized it to connect with other warriors still today. Tell me a little bit about when you got started. Uh, in gaming. <laughs> Man, my, my passion for gaming started as a very young age. I had an NES, uh, eventually a Super Nintendo, and just kind of every iteration since then. When, uh, when I was in the military and we were overseas in Italy, uh, you know, this is before really uh, Wi-Fi and the internet was really kicking off. We were doing LAN parties for Halo uh, back in the original Xbox, so gaming's kind of always been a part of my life, and uh, it, it's actually kind of 
after my injury, it was a way to um, kind of feel normal a little bit and then, you know, getting into a better uh, mental health state to then connect with other warriors and to, um, you know, get, get, you know, connected outside of myself. It's been, it's been always been a part of my life. Anything else that you'd like people to know? Uh, no, you know, Wounded Warrior Project's a great organization, and there's there's a lot of great organizations, but from the bottom of my heart, I think Wounded Warrior Project really spans, you know, the level of, of care and commitment to our nation's warriors. The, the programs, mental health, uh, body, economic empowerment, uh, just the, the, any way you can be helped, they have programs for you, and you should definitely look them up if, you, if you're not familiar with them. That's fantastic. Michael, thank you so much for taking a second with us here today. Thanks for being here at TwitchCon and sharing the amazing story uh, that you have to share and about Wounded Warrior Project. We'll be right back here on Inside Military Esports. Over the course of this summer, Army Entertainment Esports ran a Street Fighter V qualifying tournament at bases all across the country. The winner of those tournaments came here to compete in the finals. Let's go ahead and meet him. I'm here with Refugio Orozco, the sponsorship coordinator for the U.S. Army and the one who coordinated the entire Street Fighter V tournament here at TwitchCon 2019. Refugio, tell me a little bit about what goes into coordinating a massive tournament like this. There was a team of us at Army MWR, um, along with Army Entertainment and the National Guard, that actually put together the tournament. Uh, so we have 16 stops, 16 qualifiers all across the world. So the actual tournament started around uh, June time frame, uh, May, May, June time frame. Uh, but we started coordinating way ahead of time. But uh, really from May uh, till about August, we've had qualifiers. Very cool. Yeah. Now, Refugio, what, what is your goal for 2020? Where would you like to see it then? Oh, 2020, we have some big plans. Can't quite give everything <laughs> away yet. Understood. Um, but we definitely are looking to put on quality programs for soldiers because that's really what we do. Yeah. Our goal is to put on quality programs for soldiers um, so that they're they're ready because that's that's really what the the core value is is readiness for our soldiers and we feel that putting on morale boosting events like this help with that. And if somebody wants to get involved next year, how would they go about doing that? They would visit our website. It's uh, www.armymwr.com uh, forward slash esports and that's like the hub for all of our esports events uh, moving forward. Hey guys, I'm here with Andreas Harding from the Army Entertainment Esports team. He just took second place at the Street Fighter V tournament. Andreas, give me a little overview about how the tournament went for you here today. It went pretty good. Awesome. And, and tell me a little bit about how what was the most challenging part for you? Oh, uh, the most challenging part was uh, my nerves. Just the Your nerves. nerves? Like, yeah, you know, just sitting there in front of the crowd. Uh, it's sure. something that you know you got to get used to. The winner of Army Entertainment Esports Street Fighter V tournament. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. You want to introduce yourself to our audience and tell them how you qualified? Yeah. yeah. Sergeant Dominic Ramirez, I competed at the uh, Colorado Springs tournament. I'm stationed at the city of Monterey, California. And so you won the whole tournament with who? Who's your main? Rashid is my main. What was the hardest part of the tournament for you? The first match. I actually lost the first match off the gate, just 0 1. So I had to go all the way back from uh, losers, and then I brought it and I ran it back, reset it, and then took it. That's fantastic. Have you competed in any other Street Fighter tournaments? I have not. I have not played competitively ever. Really. So this is your first time? I did a tournament back in maybe early 90s when I was a little kid, and that's that was it. So it's been a while. Well, awesome. Well, once again, congratulations, and uh, you know, hopefully your Street Fighter career takes off from here, right? Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Thank you, sir. All right. Ran into a couple guys from Elf and Nerds Guild here on the show floor. Jeremy, how's your time going? It's fantastic. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Can you tell our audience a little bit about Alpha Nerds Guild? The Alpha Nerds Guild is a nonprofit organization based around veterans and first responders where we unite around gaming. We found out that gaming actually helps out to be able to get us to be able to be around each other more, enjoy each other's company, and also be able to cope through those hard times. So at Alpha Nerds Guild, you guys also have some outreach programs to help the community? So if you're a veteran in a hard spot and you can't afford to get a console, we can actually sponsor you and end up getting you a console and an online card and game of your choice. With that, we'll be able to join in with us, be able to get to know the community, and be able to game with us now. And ultimately, gaming is all about being part of a community. That's exactly what it is. When we get together, we're able to know each other better, be able to get through those times, and be able to really just understand and be able to become friends, and then after that, family. Oh, fantastic. Steven is here with us as well. Hi, Steven. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. How's your time at TwitchCon, Ben? Fantastic, man. Fantastic. Any favorite parts? 
the, the expo mostly, just meeting new people, learning new things, um, learning how to grow more as a streamer and with content creation as we do too on the podcast. So if somebody wants to learn more about Alpha Nerds Guild, where can they find out more? They can definitely search on Facebook, search Alpha Nerds Guild, and you'll be able to find the group and the, the, the group page as well. And then we can get you in there and we can definitely meet up and learn all about everybody. So we'll love to see you guys there. All right, let's get back out to the show floor. We'll be right back here on Inside Military Esports presented by Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Navy Federal Credit Union, proudly serving the armed forces, veterans, and their families for over 85 years. Our members are the mission, insured by NCUA. Hey guys, we are really excited to be back with Sergeant Chris Jones, the general manager of the U.S. Army eSports team. They have been at TwitchCon for the last three days. Uh, Sergeant, tell me, how's it been going so far? It's been great. We've had all of our guys walking around, talking to influencers, talking to other people out there, just kind of getting the word out about the U.S. Army eSports program. And how many uh, team members are out here this weekend? So seven of us total. I've got Miranda Fair, a member of the U.S. Army Esports stream team. Miranda, for those who don't know, what is the stream team? So the stream team is a group of soldiers and officers who stream on Mixer and Twitch TV and also Facebook. Um, what we do is basically we just engage the community um, and just kind of be able to bring the community together as one group and do what we love, which is play video games. That's amazing. Miranda, did you ever think that you would be, uh, as an adult, playing for the U.S. Army eSports stream team? <laughs> Never in a million years. Um, when the community first um, started, we all received an email. Um, a lot of people I know kind of thought that it it wasn't real, and yeah. we were like, oh, that's weird. Right. Um, but I joined the Discord, um, I got talking to people, and I just said, you know, hey, this is something that looks great. I want yeah. to be a part of it. Being able to um, connect with other people in the military who play video games and do what I love to do in their free time. Like there was no, you know, if, ands or buts. If I wanted to join it, it was an easy answer. I've got Lieutenant Sarah Brown here, another member of the U.S. Army eSports stream team. Sarah, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you for having me. So tell me a little bit about what you guys have been doing here at TwitchCon. Uh, we've been doing a lot of like networking mostly okay and really just been like trying to spread the word that like we have an army esports team like it's actually real I know a lot of people were not really believing it when we first came out with it yeah and it's a lot of interaction with like us and like the civilian side to show that we are actually normal humans who actually like <laughs> to game as well so when you heard that the US Army was starting an esports team this is this something that you just like jumped on oh immediately yeah as soon as I saw it I like joined the discord and everything like that and I like immediately got into it and then about a week later my commander's like hey Sarah I know you're into gaming you want to join up I was like oh already did sir <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome and what's it like to be a part of this group. It's fantastic. We're here with Sergeant Kevin Raisins, known as Scott Toria. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. So what do you do for the U.S. Army esports team? Uh, well, I'm on the Magic the Gathering team, as well as run the Army's stream team. When you joined the Army, did you ever think you'd be playing games for the Army? Uh, nope. <laughs> Not at all. Any goals for the future with your Army esports career? Uh, I just want to see the program grow. Has being an U.S. Army esports player allowed you to connect with anybody? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, even the last couple of days, I've had a lot of veterans come up. Of course, they're interested about the program because they're like, wow, should I get back in and try to do this? But uh, I mean, it's definitely a way they might not be comfortable talking to a lot of people, but now they're seeing active, active duty soldiers doing the same thing they're doing. So it's just super easy to talk to as well. What are, your, what are the goals and what's the mission of the U.S. Army esports team? Just spread awareness. Um, the percentage of people that are gamers in the military is huge, and we want to connect with everyone not in the military showing, yeah, we are real people. After the Army, or after our day-to-day -day job, we, we go home, we go to the gym, we play video games, we do the same thing you do. So what do you do for the U.S. Army Esports team? I am currently the uh, Multimedia Director for the U.S. Army Esports program. And what does that mean to someone like me who doesn't know what that means? Uh, so pretty much all the graphic design work, um, overlays, live production, video production, uh, content creation, falls under my, my purview. Oh, what's your favorite part of your job? Um, pretty much capturing content, uh, finding the right angles and everything, and making sure we look good. Uh, a lot of this pushing ourselves to make it content look better. 
in order to better present our program as well. Any upcoming stuff with the Army Esports team that you're excited for? Uh, a bunch of good events coming up. Uh, we be the, the trailer, gaming trailer we have around different events, and I like enjoy you know I enjoy showing that off to everybody and you know showing what we're capable of coming play against us, engaging with the population. We have the Army Ten Mile coming up in October, and then honestly these events coming up here soon for our guys to compete and finally get our name out there. I'm the social media manager for the U.S. Army Esports team, so we're on Facebook. Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, YouTube, all it's it's all at US Army Esports. And what does the US Army Esports team mean to you? Um, it means we're we're humans. We play video games, we can be weird, you can be bubbly and you can still be in the army. We have a personality behind us, we still have our passion for gaming and you know, it's okay to be a nerd in the military. What games do you play? Uh, I play Overwatch and a lot of team fight tactics. And if the U.S. Army Esports team were to add one more professional team for another game, what game would you want it to be? Oh, Farmville. Duh. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you guys had as much fun as we did here at TwitchCon 2019, right here on Inside Military Esports presented by Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. We'd like to thank Twitch and everyone who talked to us on the show floor. And as always, we'd like to thank all our active duty service members for all that you do. I'm Jeremy Smith. And I'm Jamie Kenton. For all of us here at Inside Military Esports, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>